The black-spotted Corydorus has a yellow-grey body covered in dark speckles. They are a well-camouflaged catfish with short barbells and they swim near the bottom of the tank scavenging for scraps of food. They like a well-planted aquarium with plenty of hiding places that can provide shade from the light. Soft sand or gravel substrate is best because of their easily damaged barbells. The Colombian shark is also known as the blackfin shark. It is a catfish which will grow to quite a size in an aquarium. It needs a large tank with plenty of plants and rocks. As it grows larger, there is a possibility that the shark will eat smaller fish in the tank. This species prefers some aquarium salt in the water and may be acclimatized into a saltwater aquarium as they live in both fresh and salt water during different periods of their lifespan. The albino Corydorus comes from the Amazon River and is a peaceful bottom-dwelling scavenger. The albino variety is mostly white to pink and has multiple barbells around the mouth. They like a generously planted aquarium with plenty of places to hide to provide shelter from the light. A smooth sand or gravel substrate is needed because of their easily damaged barbells. They enjoy being in numbers so a small school of six or more is ideal to keep them happy. The bronze Corydorus natural habitat is tributaries of the Amazon River where they are a peaceful bottom dwelling scavenger. They require a well planted aquarium with lots of hiding places. Being a gregarious fish that enjoys being in numbers, a small school of six or more is ideal. A smooth sand or gravel substrate is needed because of their easily damaged barbells. The ghost or glass catfish is very unusual as its body is almost completely transparent, all bar a small silver sac that contains its vital organs. They have a pair of long barbells out in front. They are quite a sensitive shoaling fish and like a generously planted aquarium where they can gather together amongst the plants near the surface and gently ripple their bodies while hanging almost vertically. This catfish is also different in that it's active during daylight hours. This slim algae eater has a silver belly and a bright gold back. A horizontal patterned line runs along its side. 
it's ideal for keeping algae under control. In a small community tank, the gold algae eater will become territorial. Caution should be used when maintaining this species with discus and larger angelfish, as the catfish will often hassle these species. The peppered Corydoras come from the tributaries of larger river systems in South America and are a peaceful bottom-dwelling scavenger. They need a well-planted aquarium with plenty of places to hide and to provide shade from the light. A smooth sand or gravel substrate is needed because of their easily damaged barbells. They are happiest when in numbers, so a small school of six or more is ideal. The sailfin pleco comes from the rivers and tributaries of South America, where they spawn in tunnels dug out of the mud banks. They prefer an aquarium with fast growing plants and water movement, with rocks and driftwood to provide hiding spaces. Feeding off the bottom of the aquarium, they obtain most of their nutrition from leftover food and algae. The upside-down catfish is also known as the blotched upside-down catfish and its origins are from the rivers and lakes of Central Africa. It's one of the smaller catfish and is opaque with many black spots and markings. This species hangs in an inverted position as well as feeds from the surface of the water. They will happily feed on algae that forms within the aquarium. <laughs> 